This ancient temple has stood as a bastion to defend humanity for, I don't know, I haven't been counting, but at least f between 57 and 462,000 years. Somewhere in that range. You may be asking yourself, well, what's this giant temple, this giant pyramid uh, defending us against? Like, I've been over here playing Mario Kart 64 for the last 28 years and I haven't been paying attention. Well, tell you what, a giant serpent, a huge snake is actually attacking us. So it's like, that base is massive and it spreads out and this thing is strong. You know, it's kind of like Hydra. You shoot one head off and like 67, Small squirrels pop out of it. You know what I'm talking about. I love this waterfall. What a nice touch. But we're going to have to use incredibly, incredibly powerful weapons to defeat this. Like, oh, I don't know. Harnessing the power of the sun. Let's take a look at some of the weapons we have at our disposal. As you can see, oh my god, there are so many new ones. I don't even really know where to start. Except the same place I always start. Resource generation. This level is so big, I'm actually getting a little bit of lag. Now, it is available on the Steam Workshop. If you guys are watching, you're like, man, that level looks awesome. I want to play it. Rage Alert made it. Yeah. It's called Soul, S O L, which is actually the name of my dog who successfully had his surgery. He's feeling so much better. And he's like, Papa, why are you playing video games when we could be playing? And I'm like, wait a minute, you can talk? All right, let's put all of our tech in this little area of the temple. What was that TV show, like, My Hidden Temple or something like that? That kind of sounds weird. Hey, have you found My Hidden Temple? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, dude. That sounds strange. So in order to really give this the old college try, I think we are going to have to have tons of resource generation. Oh, I just realized, look at this. I can use this area. We can expand the temple out to the top. How many of you guys play Civilization? Like any of them? Like five, six? Every time I think about like building a temple, I think about civilization and I'm like, my God, that's like one of my favorite video games ever. Like if I was on a mission to Mars and you're like, Baron, you're going to Mars. Elon Musk says he needs someone that can beat him in Command and Conquer. You're up. But the catch is it's like a six to nine month journey and you can only bring one video game with you that has a lot of replayability. For me, it's usually like, on a Mars mission, I think I would take Civilization VI with all DLCs. Does anyone else think about this or is it just me? <laughs> all right, we're going to put some of our other technology here because we're trying to get this one. The Sea Moon Technology Center. They are targeting us with missiles. Oh my God. And they're firing five different missile clusters. They got a little bit of burning there. And man, we have some serious lag. I mean, this is a big, big map. Whoa. All right, we need to defend ourselves. I mean, didn't I put out all the fires? Kick the tires and light the fires. Kick the fires and light the tires. We need anti-aircraft defenses. Incoming! They love their cluster missiles, don't they? Now, the best defense is a strong defense. So that should be decent. Not great, but decent. Dang, this is laggy, boy. And I think that should be pretty decent at defending us. Now, we need to get our technology here. Now, we need 4,000, and I'm just a little bit shy of that. So, in order to get this, we need more mineral storage, which is actually kind of crazy. Here it is. The Sea Moon Technology Lab. Guys, shoot up there. <laughs> Lots of missiles incoming. Oh, my God. The flat gun killed them before the missiles did. That was... Uh, strangely sympathetic like hey you want to burn to death or you just want to get a lot of bullets in your face well i guess it's a lot of bullets in our face okay can we build the sea moon tech not yet we are just now building this structure build speed 300 percent, please there's just too many of them and the temple is so big this temple is so big you get like frame rate issues Come on, there's only two left. Yes! We actually defended ourselves against one this time. Fantastic. Let's increase energy production. Some of these weapons, if you've watched like the black hole video, you know how energy intensive they really are. And look at this. We actually get like some other devices potentially when we unlock this technology. 300% speed, please. Now, we could be building weapons, but I don't know which one. I remember being trolled in the last one, but I want to use the power of the sun, right? 
Tsunami. Bagpipes? What are the names of these? Like the bloom of life at the last moment. I think when the mod maker was making this, they were contemplating existence. Blaze in the sun's core. This is exactly what I want. The power of the sun. But I need to have it at a safe spot. All right, where do we want to hit this snake? In the head, right? You must cut the head off the snake. All right, so we'll turn these into blast doors. And we're going to give this an astromech droid for repairs. I call them astromech droids. We need a proper Star Wars mod, man. A little bit of anti-aircraft defenses. I always call it anti-aircraft. I don't know why. It's just like that dumb thing I say. Baron, there's a lot of things you say that are dumb. I cannot argue against that. It would be nice to have a missile system in place. Oh my god, what is this? I can't read it. Brash. Sues the soul of the wounded. What are you talking about? We'll put him down here because that's a safe little spot. There's also the missile. 5,000. Ah. Uh, to get bagpipes. Well, we could launch a beehive. This thing is huge. Holy crap, this thing is huge! Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. My god. They say it fires bees in these little rocket canisters. Well, I guess those would be missiles. We're gonna actually just turn that into something else. <laughs> Alright, we will need a sniper for this. So we're gonna put him like in a nice little nook and cranny. Incoming! Barrage! There we go though. And then all these bullets, like, harass the... Oh, I don't like the look of that. Wow. That's really effective. Look at this. It's like, you, you, you see the little guy with the little hat with the little, like, fan on it? Like, this little snake's like, hey, guys. The laser is prepared to fire. We will harness the power of the sun. Oh, it's still going. It's firing through the abdomen. It cut it. It's still going. Oh my god, that was awesome. Now, we could definitely cut the head off the snake here. Oh, wow. That's really, really good. Oh, we're on fire. Where? Oh no. Now this, we're gonna target just the belly. So this is the beehive, right? Or is it bagpipes? Something weird like that, man. It's just one rocket and there's nothing to shoot it. What happens when it hits? Oh my god! Oh, okay. We've frozen the game. Dude, so this this mod is just good at like cutting through entire bases. I want to try this against an ATM-6 walker. My god. All right, now this guy's ready to fire and we want to aim a little bit higher. Just a little higher. How about there? Right through his neck. Yeah. Now there must be a core up there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it's very good to fire. What's your reload time? Okay. Wait, can this guy just keep firing? No, but the doors are locked open for some reason. I didn't do that manually. Now what we've done is we've actually silenced the enemy. We haven't gotten a retort from rockets in quite a while, probably because most of their resources are going to repairing their base. Now it seems a lot of these weapons are metal intensive, so we are going to increase our dwarves. Yeah, it's very strange how this guy just like leaves the door open. You trying to air condition in the outside there, buddy? Oh, that's a good spot. That should cut through both sections. Oh, and actually hitting a core right there. We might just cause a detonation via heat. No, it actually absorbed a decent amount. Okay, well, what I'm going to do then, once I get enough energy, apparently. Because this thing costs 20,000 energy to fire. I'm going to hit this section. And we want to increase... All right, here we go. This is one missile, but then it turns into like a hundred pretty quickly. Can it make it through? Oh my God! Luke Skywalker shot right there. I used to shoot T-16 wombats or something like that. Skyhopper, you know what I'm talking about. Holy crap, that was awesome. Okay, harnessing the power of the sun is pretty awesome. I don't know if you know this, but if you take the most powerful thing in your solar system and harness it as a weapon, it's pretty cool there, Bobby. Apollo's bow. Well, you have my attention. All right, we got Apollo's bow. Pachelbel's canyon. Apollo's bow. Let's let's give him a little uh, shave. He was growing a beard there. All right, yeah, we need massive, massive energy production. So we are going to start working on that. Now, there's two sides to energy, right? There is production and there's storage. We're going to want both. Scared money don't make money, boys. So we'll just 
I wish you could like drag, you know? Like every now and then you're just gonna be building something obscenely big in forts, and I wish you could just like drag and it would auto place. That would save me so much time. So what's it like battling a giant snake that's basically a god? Well, uh, we'll just harness the power of the sun. Not a problem. All right, I really, really like this. I don't know where the other cores are. So it's kind of just a guessing game. Here we go. We fired that here, hoping that there's a core down there. Dang. If it wasn't for all of these little sections, we could probably cause like a decapitation or a collapse or something like that. It's really hard to find the other sources. How is it that with all of these metal things, we're only at 9,570? What other weapons could we use? Ooh, we can get bagpipes now. All right, now this guy is... Who? How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight zeros. 500 million energy? I think we already have the max at nine, 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 nine. I don't think I can have any more than that. Hold on. I'll just spam them. Whoops. I don't know what I just did there. Did something. I can't even fire that. They, there's always a troll like, hey man, wouldn't it be cool to use this? You can't. Costs more energy than it is even in the game. Decimal places, dude. <laughs> Clarifies the heart of the sufferer. What? What is going on in your life, fellow? Are you okay? We're here for you if you need us, you know? You just gotta let us know. I have a hurricane in my heart. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm a Florida dude. We just have hurricanes in general. We don't need to have them in our hearts because they're already everywhere else. Uh, Aurora. Corrosion. Corrosion sounds cool, dude. All right. Build these things. Underlay, underlay, mama. Vamanos. Necesito mas firepower. Como se dice you're gonna die, giant snake? Porque no hablo espanol. And there goes the head of the snake, but he's still there because, you know, reasons. Let's get it right here. Fire everything. Fire everything! All right, now we got the hurricane thing. Dang, that energy's still beaming. Are you trying to use up all my energy? Oh, oh, hold on. Oh yeah, the missile fired, so we had like a, a frame rate spike as it destroys its midsection. The sun laser is still firing. And now we don't have any energy. <laughs> Domain. Like, what does this do? It generates... Okay, I see. I think we need more energy. Oh my god! Look at this thing! <laughs> I'm building it. I don't know what it is. I mean, I, I know what it is. It's a giant turbine. But this is incredible. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> It's only 62% effective up here. I want that thing built fast. I want to see this thing. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. Now, will that get me? <laughs> okay, fire a hurricane at him. Snakes don't like hurricanes. Nobody likes hurricanes. Oh, uh, it's okay. It's not bad. It's not good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and the hurricane is dead. Of course he is. Why would I want him alive again? Wow. All right. Now, you didn't kill your slough. Okay, that's good. Where are you gonna hit? Oh, not in the best spot. What is that? Oh, that's corrosion, right? Okay, so we've got like this poisonous gas that is spreading and it's definitely corroding the structure. It's actually a pretty good way for us to like determine the location of the other cores. There's gotta be a core up in this head, right? We should actually aim right at his face. Firework. You're sold. We're putting a firework right there. All right. Can we hit his head? Not probably very accurately. Ah, oh, a little low on that guy. Oh, we have this guy. Yeah, I forget that this thing will like just keep firing. Oh, corrosion is still going on. Wow. Corrosion's really, really good. I need to remember that and just like fire multiple corrosive devices on this thing. They're trying to repair it, it looks like. <laughs> The power of the sun is unlimited, at least until it's not, and the sun dies and everything in the solar system does too. Man, this makes me want to play Stellaris, oh my god. Alright, chill out. Stop it. Stop firing the sun. Stop firing the sun. Alright, we fired fireworks at him. Oh! We literally might crash my game. Oh my god! It's really hard to tell what's going on. I can't repair because my frames are at like... 0 
and there are fires erupting all over the temple. I repeat, evacuate the temple complex. Somehow the sunbeam is still firing. I don't know what they hit me with or fireworks just like came back. Oh my God. What is that? What is going on? Oh my God. I can't put on all the fires. I'm actually surprised this core hasn't detonated. Oh, we got a detonation. One of the cores of the temple is gone. I think what happened was it because my frames were so trash. All right, that was the firework thing that did it, right? Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's not learn our lesson. Yeah, I think they deflect off, right? So the fireworks are going to deflect back again. This mod was not tested for optimization. That's for sure. I'm not even at one frame a second. I think I'm at one frame a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, do you see all of them reflecting backwards? Yeah, of course I fire a reflectionary firework device at something that's concave. So it's more like, it's like peeing in a urinal and then just spraying yourself. Because your velocity is too strong. Because you've been eating way too many waffles. Alright, so just get ready for our entire base to be erupted again. Oh my gosh, we have our frames back. Okay, I'm never using you again. You're bad. Now we have this thing, which is technically the most powerful one. Corrosion is still going on. Okay, we fired a beam. And it didn't do a lot. The last light in the world. Build us. Corrosion is awesome. I do want more corrosion. Wow, we lost our missile base. <laughs> Alright, it's ready. I don't know what this is gonna do. Oh! Wow! That whole thing is on fire. Okay, there's definitely a core in there because you can hear it overheating. Okay, that might be one of the coolest ones. Now we've got, we're gonna fire a bunch of corrosions at it. At least two. Oh, there's a core, you can see it, okay. This is really, dang, okay. We fired the corrosions not at the right spot. I don't even know if this is gonna get through. All right, I am okay with you never shooting again, Mr. Fire Laser. All right, so there's a core in here. Can it get through the corrosion? Yes, it can, and that should be it. Boom, baby. Whoa, what did I just shoot? What the heck is that? This is the bagpipe thing. <gasps> oh my god, I built a spaceship? Oh, what did I just do? <laughs> what did I just do? If, is this gonna do what I think it's gonna do? Where it's just gonna like laser the entire base in like a sweeping like sword? Sort of. Oh my god! Okay, that thing is powerful. And I froze my game again. Oh, there's no more cores down. There must just be like two more left. Frames are gone, man. You harness something that is more powerful than you can ever imagine. We're getting frames back. Hit him in the head! Oh, we lit up that entire section? We're gonna kill the giant snake, man. We will defend humanity from the demons. Okay, I see the two cores. There's none in the head? How are there none in the head? There has to be one in the head because it's disconnected and it's still operational. Yeah, there there is one right in his eye socket. Okay, then we're gonna target, we're gonna target right there. This is actually the most effective one. Let's see if it runs into this thing. So this thing just keeps shooting at the same spot. All right, here we go. The cluster of all clusters. Oh, did we get a double detonation? We may have... Holy crap, that was a double detonation. Oh god, the spaceship exploded and went nuclear. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my god, a, a rocket just went back this way somehow. I don't know how, but it did. Sometimes one doesn't need to know how, just that it does. All right, this should work now that we know where to aim. Now, unfortunately, I just can't hit the head with the, with the cannon pod. So what we really need to work is this guy. Guess we could fire some corrosion at it. Those look good. We might even get all three of them to hit the head. Come on. You're almost there. Reloaded. Oh man, I love the reloading animation. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Let's just hit the head off the snake. This should do it. We probably could kill it slowly via corrosion, but we want to seal the deal and make sure this snake never comes back to trouble humanity. Be prepared to die, snakey boy. Oh! It just did a loop. The core actually detached and fell. 
<laughs> All right, that was absolutely insane. This is what happens when you harness the power of the sun. Crazy things happen. Thank you for watching another episode of Forts. Pull the trigger and like button if you did enjoy it and do want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one.